Our estimation is that uh, already by 2009, Iran will reach enrichment capability, and uh, as soon as uh, 2010, we'll have the option to reach at military levels. This Iranian projection of power was displayed last month with the test firing of its newest missiles, Shahab-3. Israel, however, is prepared for any attack out of the Middle East, with its focus now on the Iranian threat. For us, such situation that Iran will have a nuclear power, it is an existential threat. And from the state of Israel, point of view, it is unacceptable. Beginning in 1988, the United States Department of Defense Strategic Defense Initiative contracted out a new program in Israel called Arrow One. This missile defense program would grow to become one of the top in the world, being updated to Arrow Two in 1995 and costing around $1 billion total. The Arrow system is located in a group called a battery, consisting of five separate parts. Each battery has four to eight launch trailers, each with six launch tubes. Then there are truck-mounted control communications and fire control centers, all manned. Finally, there is the all-important radar system, capable of detecting targets at ranges up to 500 kilometers and is able to track targets at speeds over 3,000 meters per second. Once the missile is detected, Arrow launches its own missiles at the target, with a maximum speed of Mach 9 and max altitude of 50,000 meters. Each battery is capable of tracking and destroying multiple targets at once, with its first test in 2003. However, Arrow's most telling test came in 2007, when the U.S. launched a live Scud missile to imitate the Shahab-3 from Iran. The Arrow destroyed the target successfully. Currently, there are three batteries deployed, one in Palmahim IAF base, one in Hadera, and finally in Palmahim. The Arrow 2 system can detect and track incoming missiles as far away as 500 kilometers and can intercept missiles 50 to 90 kilometers away. The Arrow missile is launched as soon as the incoming threat is detected, before the missile's trajectory and intercept point are accurately known. As more trajectory data becomes available, the intercept point is more precisely defined and the missile is guided towards the best intercept point. When the missile nears its target, it detonates, capable of destroying a target within a 50 meter radius. This explosion from the Arrow in turn causes the incoming threat to explode. Arrow was capable of destroying the missile anywhere from an altitude of 10 to 40 kilometers. Israel has long been developing their missile defense program and is constantly looking to upgrade it. Israel has recently expressed interest in purchasing the Patriot missile system from the U.S. and further developing a high-intensity laser capable of precision-guided strikes and interception of incoming missiles. <laughs>